It makes men so filthy. By Thomas Watson. It is a part of our Christian profession to fight under Christ's banner against the world. The world is a flattering enemy. It shows its golden apple. It is given to some as a snare. Take heed of being drowned in the world's luscious delights. It must be a strong brain which can bear heady wine. Just so, he had need of a great deal of wisdom and grace, who knows how to maintain a great estate. Riches often send up intoxicating fumes, which make men's heads giddy with pride. It is hard to climb up the hill of God with too many golden weights. The world shows its two breasts of pleasure and profit, and many fall asleep with the breast in their mouth. The world never kisses us except with an intent to betray us. The world is a silken halter. The world is no friend to grace. It chokes our love to heavenly things. The earth puts out the fire. Naturally, we love the world. Too many are wedded to their money. They live together as man and wife. Oh, let us take heed of being entangled in this pleasing snare. Many who have escaped the rock of scandalous sins, yet have sunk in the world's golden quicksands. The sin is not in using the world, but in loving it. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 1 John 2, verse 15. Believers are called out of the world. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. John 17, verse 16. They are in the world, but not of it. A true saint is crucified in his affections to the world. Galatians 6, verse 14. He is dead to the honors and pleasures of it. What delight does a dead man take in pictures or music? Jesus Christ gave himself to redeem us from this present evil world. Galatians 1, verse 4. Living fish swim against the stream. We must swim against the world, else we shall be carried down the stream and fall into the dead sea of hell. The world is deceitful. Our Savior calls it the deceitfulness of riches. Matthew 13, verse 22. The world promises happiness, but gives weariness. It promises us Rachel, but gives us bleary-eyed Leah. The world promises to satisfy our desires, but only increases them. The world gives poisoned pills, but wraps them in sugar. The world is polluting. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. It is called filthy lucre because it makes men so filthy. Men will damn themselves to get the world. Ahab would have Naboth's vineyard, though he swam to it in blood. The world is perishing. The world and its desires pass away. The world is like a flower, which withers while we are smelling it.